Okay, so with, we're still looking at vectors and we're looking at working with a zero vector. Okay, this is a little bit to kind of do with physics that's been brought into maths, okay, but it's nothing to worry about. Okay, so a zero vector is just what it sounds like. So in two dimensions, so in 2D, a zero vector, or the zero vector even, is zero, zero. Okay, easy as that. That's what a zero vector is, okay? And in 3D, a zero vector is just, you guessed it, three zeros. Okay, but how is this going to come in useful? Okay, so what happens is vectors generally, the most common type of vector that we see is to do with forces. And if anything on it, I know you won't have done, um, some of you won't have done physics, but it's okay, right? So if the forces on an object equal a zero vector, then the object is in equilibrium. Okay, so what that actually means is that if all the forces on it equal zero, so that's like the meaning they cancel out, then the object is stationary. So if you've got anything that's still not moving, then the forces on it are equal. Okay, so we're going to have to use this to be able to solve some questions with forces and um, with vectors. Right, so this is say for, so we've got going to do an example here. Right, if we've got some point, let's say this is an object, it doesn't matter what object it is, and we've got three forces acting on it, all acting in different directions. Remembering forces are vectors because they have both size and direction. So we've got force one here, which is going to be equal to three two, five. We're going to have force two, which is going to be equal to minus nine, minus two, and four. And we've got force three, which is unknown, so A, B, C. Okay? But, if the point is stationary, so, if the point is in equilibrium, okay, equilibrium can either mean that it's stationary or that it's moving at a constant speed, um, but you don't need to worry about that, you'll just see the word equilibrium, that's fine, okay, so we're looking at, if the point is in equilibrium, what are the values of A, B and C? A, B, and C. Right, so that means if it's an equilibrium, then the resultant of those forces or those vectors is equal to zero, zero, zero. Right, so that means that F1 plus F2 plus F3 equals zero. Okay? which is still a vector. They're all vectors here. So we need to donate them as such. Right? So, that means that 3, 2, 5 plus um, minus 9, minus 2, 4 plus A, B, 
C equals zero zero zero. Right? So if we kind of collect the first two F one and F two together, we get three take away nine, so we get minus six plus A. Yeah, so we're collecting them all together. So we've got three plus minus nine minus six plus A minus six plus A. And then we've got two plus minus two, which is zero, plus b, so just b, and then we've got five plus four, which is nine, plus c, equals zero, zero, zero. Okay, so therefore, that means that minus six plus a must equal zero, so therefore a must equal six, in this case b must equal zero, and C must equal minus 9 to make that true. So it's like saying in here, what value have I got to put in to make this 0? It's got to be 6. What value have I got to put in here to make that 0? Got to be 0. What value have I got to put in here to make that 0? It's got to be minus 9. So we find that resultant force that gives us that 0 vector. Okay? Um, I think that's all we need for zero vectors, that's us. It's all just kind of working out whether or not something is stationary or um, in equilibrium or not. Um, quite often, it, if it isn't, you just say, if they don't add up to zero, 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 you can just say the forces aren't in equilibrium and that's fine. Okay, so that's us for zero vectors. It's a very small part of vector stuff. So that's why we can do it very quickly. Okay, so if you've got any questions, leave a comment and let me know if there's anything about this that you don't understand.